Her name is Emma. And unlike far too many babies who happen to be born here, she's off to a good start. Emma's mother knows exactly where to go when her baby is sick. She can be confident that this health store clinic in Nairobi will provide high quality care. Elsewhere, that's just not the case. In Kenya, as much as 50% of the medicine available is counterfeit, substandard, or clinically inappropriate. Sometimes the drugs are legitimate, but are the wrong treatment for the disease. Other times, what's being sold as life-saving medicines are useless pills made of inert substances such as talcum powder or chalk, tablets containing too little active ingredient, liquids that are little more than water, or fake remedies produced on a massive scale. In the worst cases, the medicine is actually poisonous. The result? The needless suffering and sometimes death of the world's poorest children. Why are 25,000 children dying every day when the medicine that would save them costs less than a cup of coffee? The answer, quite simply, is that substandard health care is killing these children. It's not just that we need money, we do, but equally important, is using the money more effectively. We're developing a new and better way to help these children. It's a franchise system. It's a little bit like Subway or McDonald's, only these are medical clinics run by nurses, and they concentrate on the short list of most common killer diseases and maternal and child health problems that most afflict children. Subway is successful because it uses a small business format, it offers a limited range of products, and to follow standard operating procedures that enable it to maintain consistent quality standards across a large network. This is exactly what we're doing in Kenya. She's very comfortable coming here, yes. When a mother comes in with her child to one of our clinics, she can expect that the care that is delivered to her child will be effective. They can come with confidence in knowing that if I get my medicine for my child here, he or she will get well. It's got to be a tremendous sense of relief. If you could wave a magic wand across the whole developing world, and wish for just one thing that would do the most for children's health, you would wish that all the medicine that goes down all the kids' throats would simply be real. There are quacks who are on the ground, there are herbalists, there are unregistered uh, clinics, which means you don't know if the personnel who are there are professionals. We have a secure supply chain, and by that I mean a supply chain for medicine and other products that are sold in the clinic, where we protect it from the source all the way to the clinic. This is the way that we make certain that counterfeit drugs don't get into our system. Africa needs what we already have, well-regulated healthcare providers incentivized to follow standards, and franchising is how we do that. Healthstore has put up a clinic where there is no clinic, where there is no organized professional services, ensuring that there is health for all for a healthy nation, that is Kenya. The franchisees that we have now must be registered nurses with five years of experience. Sometimes nurses will make house calls. We'll go to the school and the franchisee nurse will screen all the children for worms. They'll teach them things like hand washing and how to purify water. We have various marketing programs and marketing collateral, and we train people in marketing. So when a professional like a nurse has an opportunity to own her own business rather than just being employed by someone else, say in a government clinic, for certain entrepreneurial types, this is a very, very big thing. Exactly, I like to be on my own. I like to make my own decision. And when I'm successful, I'm very happy at the end of the day, yeah. But to continue to own it, the franchisee must continue to comply with quality standards. If they don't, they'll lose their franchise. 
The whole idea behind what we do is that we create valuable business opportunities for franchisees that are too valuable to risk losing by breaking the rules. That's why we can deliver better quality health care generally than is available in the rest of the community. As a franchisee, doing your own business, you need to do financing, you market your business, you write reports, you organize yourself, you manage yourself as you manage the patient. Mothers in Africa are exactly the same as mothers everywhere else in the world. They want to do the best thing that they can do for their sick child. This is a disruptive innovation. It's very different than anything else that's being done. If we expect to get the results that Subway gets with 36,000 locations around the world, we need to do it the way they do it. The single most valuable thing that we who are in the business of trying to help the poor with health care can do to put a smile on the face of the moms is to do franchising well. Your contributions, your interest, and your involvement can help us deliver health care differently and far more effectively in the developing world. We want to, and together we can, reach millions more children like Emma. Please join the conversation. Call or contact us online. Visit healthstore.org. Healthstore, a vibrant new vision for saving lives.